Although fall is a great time to grow vegetables in the garden, right now is a very hard time for them because the insects are out in force, yet the plants you put out in the garden are still quite small. Our cauliflower and broccoli that we put out last week looks nice, at least a couple of them do, but then there's one over here that has terrible insect damage. It's just riddled with holes. The very small holes are the work of the flea beetle. Now flea beetles will feed on coal crops such as broccoli and cauliflower. You'll also find them on eggplant and especially you'll see them on radishes and, and young lettuce plants coming up. One thing you can do on very small plants is stretch a length of remay over the plants the first few weeks of their life. We showed that earlier this summer on our eggplant and that will screen out the flea beetle. Now the pest making the large holes in this incidence is the imported cabbage worm. You can always tell the imported cabbage worm because he blends right in with that leaf. It's a dull color in the same, same shade as the leaf and sort of velvety looking. The cabbage looper, on the other hand, moves along. It is more of a, a yellowy green and loops along as it walks. Either one of them can devour a cold crop plant. This one I'm going to take off and just smash. And then I'm going to dust these plants with Bt or Bacillus thuringiensis. Now if you're going to use any of the Bt products, whether dust or the type that you mix up and spray in liquid form, make sure that you have a fresh supply every year because this is living bacteria in suspension or in powdered form and they may keep two years but they certainly won't keep beyond that. So we like to recommend that you buy a small quantity and use it up the year that you buy it. Now the equipment that I'm using to dust with is just a simple duster. Most of them come with a long tube on them so that when you're dusting it's not right around your face. Now today's not a good day to dust so I'm just going to do one plant and show you how well they work versus just shaking a can out. It allows you to get a fine smattering across the plant instead of larger droplets coming out of a shaker can such as this. But the one restriction on using dust is that you do need to do it on a very calm day as with any fine spray that you may be putting in the garden. Well, Ray's checking our vine crop plants for insects and he'll let you know how they're doing in this fall weather. Well, it looks like our old friends, the cucumber beetles and the squash bugs continue to plague us on the vine crops and they're going to continue to give us problems as long as these plants are actively growing in the garden. But one of the things about the squash bug and control of it is that if we can get the squash bug when it's in the young or immature stage, such as the nymph we see here, we're going to have a much better job of, or much better uh, success in controlling it. Another thing we can do is go ahead and, and take uh, daily checks in the garden, and if you can look underneath the leaves of the squash and the cucumber plant and the pumpkin plants and see clusters of eggs, such as we're, we see here, this is a cluster of eggs of the squash bug. And you can get rid of much of your problem just by daily checks or periodic checks in the garden and rolling these through your hands to smash those eggs just to get rid of them before they hatch out. But if you do want to go ahead and spray or control squash bug in the garden, a good thing to use is a new material that's on the market that we're seeing used or carried in many of the garden centers now called Sabadella dust. It's a naturally occurring uh, insecticide which is a derivative of a plant and so for you organic gardeners you'd want to use that but even for non-organic gardeners we found it to be a very very effective control of squash bug. Another thing that we've noticed on these is that they're just they, they just don't really look too healthy there's a little bit of powdery mildew still on the plants uh, the squash bugs and the cucumber beetles have taken their toll and we've also been reading recently in some magazines that that uh, and in some garden publications that liquid seaweed has a real positive effect on many of our garden plants and especially on some of these vine crops. The liquid seaweed contains a naturally occurring group of hormones such as the kinetins and also auxins that seem to help stimulate some, re some growth of the plant, uh, give it renewed vigor and a good green color and can maybe help prevent some of these problems build up some resistance to some de diseases and to some insects. And so we're going to be spraying as a folder application some of the liquid seaweed. And as I do that, I might add also that it's very important that we control 
these insects such as squash bugs and cu cucumber beetles now, especially squash bugs, because as they begin to finish, as we begin to finish the season with our plants, these insects begin to look for a place to hibernate. And they'll be hibernating in garden refuge and residue around the garden, boards, uh, straw, and these types of things. So if you control these, you're going to be able to cut down this overwintering population. But even more important is practice good sanitation in your garden. Turn under all the old residue. Keep it clean around your garden. Pick up all the residue and the refuse around your garden. And you'll eliminate some of these overwintering spots for a lot of these insects and thereby get a head start on them next spring.